Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you the basic softwares and the basic settings that you can do to your laptop that has a newly installed operating system. Okay, so this laptop here has a newly installed Windows 10. Okay, and there is no any other software that has been installed so far in this laptop. Okay other than the default software that has come with Windows 10 alright and there's no any other settings that has been made to this operating system so far so guys in this video I'm going to show you the basic software and settings that you can do to your newly operating system after you have installed that operating system okay and the video on how to install a new operating system has already been made the video link will be provided in the description part so guys suppose you have not watched it kindly watch it and know how you can install your own operating system without paying for it okay all right so let's proceed okay it's before you can install any software to your computer you must understand first what software do you need okay if you want browsing you must install a browser if you want to open Word document you must install a software that will enable you to open that Word document even if you want to open PDF document you must install that software that will enable you to open that PDF document okay if you are a video guy you must install that software that will enable you to, that will enable you to play music or videos in your computer okay so let's start from the very basic you know from the video for the case of video and music guys I always recommend VLC okay so let me just go to the folder where my software is here so that I can show you all the basic software that you can install to your needle install operating system so I'll go to Windows solution setup ISO x64 okay guys I said for the case of music and videos I recommend VLC and VLC is here as you can see it's the trial and guys before you can install any software I mean this software normally come as a compressed file so you should extract them first in order for you to proceed so the first installation that we are going to make is to install WinRAR. WinRAR will be used to extract files that are compressed. Okay. As you can see, all these softwares, all of them are compressed. Okay. And for you to extract them, you must use a software extractor, which is WinRAR. There are other softwares, but I like WinRAR. Okay. So let me just install WinRAR first. The Windows application is, uh, this one is also the trial, so it's also compressed. The one that is not compressed is uh, here, x86. So this one is not compressed. I'll install this WinRAR. And these softwares, you can download them from the set that I told you earlier. Get into PC. It's the best set through which you can download your softwares. So I will install WinRAR first so that we can be able to extract the softwares that we want to install to our PC no problem you close this one and uh, we go back to x64 right and now as you can see these uh, files have changed to the icon has changed to WinRAR icon as you can see so I will go to VLC and install VLC As you can see, WinRAR has extracted it for us, and now we can install it from this point. Just click and go. And you just click next. Leave it running, and let's go very fast to open another software. So we have finished for the part of watching videos and music. So let's go to the part of browsing. For the part of browsing, guys, 
I recommend Chrome if you have a RAM of 4 and above. But suppose your RAM is 2 and below, kindly use Opera Mini. Chrome is a resource greedy, it takes a lot of RAM. Okay? So suppose you are using a 4 GB RAM and above, just use Chrome. Chrome is very good. But uh, the only disadvantage is that it uses a lot of RAM. It's very resource greedy. Okay? And it can slow down your machine if your RAM is 2 GB and below. So I will click on Chrome because this computer has a RAM of uh, 4. Click on Chrome. So we are done with the playing music, playing video, and uh, browsing. So Chrome is installing. We are done with the two softwares for the two functions of browsing and playing music and videos. Okay. So the next part is to open Word document. Remember, you're doing your assignments. You will work on Word document. Okay. You've been sent a, an assignment which is dot uh, docs file you will use word application to open it for the case of uh, word and other applications such as uh, powerpoint i recommend microsoft office and uh, which version i recommend microsoft office 2016 or 2019 but in our case we are going to install microsoft office 2016 okay it's here okay Chrome is installing already. VLC is installing. So let's go to the part of opening our documents through which we'll use Microsoft Office. So I'll just click on it. It will come, guys. Okay, here it is. But unfortunately, Windows Defender has a uh, is considered this this dot exe file as a threat so we can't run it as you can see i'll try to run it but it won't so we must allow it through the windows defenders file okay so i'll click on i'll go to threats found i don't want to power I don't I don't want to turn off my Windows Defender. That's very dangerous. So the thing that I'll do is just to allow that thread through the Windows Defender, okay? So this is the thread. Just click on allow the device and start action. Just click yes. And you come back. So we can freely run this file okay let's run it and uh, you, yeah you can choose the architecture if your computer is x64 you can choose x64 but if it is x86 you can choose x64 basically means 64 bits but x x86 is 32 bits so install office it will go so guys, I'll go back and uh, explain other software that we need to install. Remember, we have installed VLC for videos and music. We have installed Chrome for browsing. And we have installed Office for opening files, Word documents, PPT, PowerPoints, Excel, Publisher, and other stuff, you know. So what's remaining basically is to open PDF file. What are we going to use to open a PDF file? I have Adobe Acrobat Reader here. So we're going to install Adobe Acrobat Reader so that we can use so that we can open PDF files. Right? Okay. So let me just click on the Adobe Acrobat. When will open it. Remember, WinRAR was the first software that we installed, and basically, it's used to extract the compressed files. The very first software that you should install in your computer, WinRAR. Okay.
okay guys we have installed adobe acrobat chrome vlc and uh, microsoft office so these are the very basic software that you can install to a newly installed operating system and now let's go to settings the first setting that i can show you is to how to set the background the wallpaper as you can see the default wallpaper is for microsoft windows okay as you can see here so to do that you can right click and you will receive the and you will receive this menu here and then click on the personalize right you click on personalize then you will receive the setting option how to load and now you can choose the wallpaper that you want okay suppose you have a picture inside your computer you can just come here browse then you go to the picture location okay and choose it as your wallpaper right okay so for the second setting that I'll show you guys is how to arrange these icons on the desktop automatically such that they can have a given order let's say alphabetical order or a given priority okay so just like right click again and come to view okay and say view then auto arrange icons you will see change they will be arranged in order of their priorities or alphabetical order okay and then again choose small icons sometimes you have a lot of icons on your desktop and if they are big like this one you know the desktop might be full so let's choose small icon as you can see now they are very cute and another setting guys that I may show and another setting that I want to show you is that to set default application let's say whenever you are, you are opening any PDF file it takes Adobe Reader as the default application for opening that file right if you want to open any music or video it takes VLC as the default application if you want to browse it takes Chrome it takes Chrome as the default application so just come to search bar and type uh, default default that one default app and uh, enter you will see the setting and for the case of email let it just be email map let it be maps let it be map then music player we want to choose this VLC just click on that and select VLC okay let it pick up all right for photos let it be photos for videos let it be VLC okay VLC let it pick up okay now for web browser you know by default it's always Microsoft Edge so we want to change it to Chrome good done guys and uh, another setting that I might be forgetting what is it oh the time that your computer will sleep okay the time that your computer will go to sleep mode it's very very important Let's just sleep just type sleep power and sleep okay these are the basic settings that you can go to that you can involve in your computer power and sleep screen will will turn off after five minutes that's okay but when it's plugged in it should turn off for 10 minutes i think that's okay but if you see it's a, a bit uh, you know not satisfying your need you can change it right okay so guys uh, i think that's all about this video and uh, let's see again in the next tutorial please subscribe bye